I must confess, I have never bought anything from Zara before. To be fair, I, I may at some point in my life have gone in and dug around through their sale items. I might have grabbed something for a, a dollar or two, but I've never actually gone in and bought like a nice new trending piece from Zara. And because of that, I never really knew what Zara was like as a brand. I had this idea in my head that Zara was like Shein or Zarful or Romwe. I've always thought of Zara as just another fast fashion brand and I assumed that its quality must have been about the same as things that you would get from Shein. But when I started Thriftmas this year, I bought my first piece of clothing from Zara and I was really, really, really surprised surprised and impressed by the quality. And it was in that moment that she realized, wow, Zara ain't that bad. I wasn't deliberately looking for pieces from Zara, but as I was browsing through online thrift stores, I kept seeing things that I really liked the look of, and when I'd click on it to buy it, it would be from Zara. So I suppose there's something to be said for fast fashion brands that pump out a lot of clothing in multiple different styles. There's going to be something out there for everyone. <laughs> I've picked out five holiday outfits from Zara that are all thrifted. And even though some of these items are from older seasons at Zara, I'm sure that if you really like them, you might be able to find them on Depop or Poshmark, or you might even be able to go into the Zara store and find something very similar because I, I think that they, make a lot of the exact same piece of clothing. They just kind of swap out the pattern or the fabric. So with that, let's have a look at our first outfit. I found this Zara blouse in the Anglicare op shop when I went out thrift shopping for an outfit to wear to my husband's birthday. I only showed this for a brief second in that video, but people in the comment section People were saying, Alex, you, you better not have left without that. Well, I'm, I'm very glad that I didn't. The skirt is absolutely beautiful. I love the frayed edges on the hemline, the fact that it zips all the way up from the bottom, easy to get into, easy to get out of after a night of not really partying, but just sitting at the party and sitting at the dinner table and just picking at all the finger food, and not really talking to anyone. <laughs> and I've paired this with a silver clutch because I do plan on possibly wearing this with this piece. This is crazy. I wasn't certain if I was going to get this or not when I saw it on Salvos, but this came brand new with tags. Apparently it was $140 when it was new. At first when I saw this on the Salvos website, I thought it was a dress. And then when I realized it wasn't, I didn't really want it. But I'm so glad that I got it. This blouse is perfect for hiding underneath things and showing the little tiny details sticking out over the neckline or showing the sleeves sticking out from under something. I love that because this hangs open, it just shows that little peep of the print from the skirt. The print doesn't end up being overwhelming, but it's just there and you can still appreciate it. If I were going to a New Year's Eve party and not just staying at home eating cheese and drinking wine with my husband, I would probably want to wear this one. <laughs> Red and gold just screams holiday season to me. So when I saw this dress on the Salvos website, I knew exactly what I wanted to pair it with. I got this chunky gold Mimco bracelet thrifted as well. The earrings too, the necklace, the bag. Dresses like this are perfect for party occasions because it's a real one and done kind of thing. You just put on the dress and you instantly look party ready. A dress like this that stands on its own with all of the detailing in the front is a no brainer for party season. The label of this dress says that it's from the Zara Basics collection. I don't think I would necessarily call this a basic. The silhouette maybe, but not the lace paneling. I'm really impressed by the quality of this dress. I really like the structure. I like the fabric. It's very heavy. It holds its shape really well. It doesn't crease easily at all. But the one thing I will say is that the size small is too small. I'm finding with everything from Zara, the sizing is whack. It's completely wrong. I, I don't understand how a company that big can get the sizing so terribly wrong, but if you're going in store and you're trying things on, obviously it's a different story. You can try on the small and you know that it doesn't fit. But if you're shopping online from Zara or if you're thrifting online Zara clothing, maybe size up because you can always take something in, but you can't manifest more fabric. This next type of outfit is a no-brainer for me. The thing about outfits like this, they always look good paired with boots and stockings and it doesn't matter what style of skirt it is, you can have a pleated skirt, you can have an A-line one, you can have a more sort of boxy cut skirt. All mini skirts look good with turtlenecks, it's, it's the rules. And to dress it up slightly for a party, you can always add a biker jacket. This Zara biker jacket really surprised me. The details on this jacket are amazing. There's zippers and pockets everywhere. We've got zippers up here and they're real pockets. It's not just a fake zip. Are you going out the door? Yep. No, Aki, don't dive bombing. No, 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 no. No, you may not. Okay, bye. Bye. I remember 
remember when this skirt launched at Zara, it was all the rage on Pinterest. It's all over Poshmark too. People are selling this for like $80, $100. This one isn't an appropriate outfit for me to wear to New Year's Eve in Sydney because it's boiling hot. In fact, just standing up here in my lounge room, I'm really sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but if you live in a cooler climate, grab a turtleneck, a biker jacket, a skirt, thigh high boots, and you're Bye. good to go. To me, a little black dress is a holiday staple. It's like the easiest, easiest thing you can possibly wear to a New Year's Eve party. <laughs> and this one from Zara is so nice. It's a really soft ribbed fabric. It's got frilly lettuce trim around the neckline. It's comfortable, stretchy, easy to wear, looks nice. Oh, where, where are you going? You have wings, that is also an option available to you. I've paired this with the pink heels and the little pink thrifted bag, but I actually don't like it. What are you doing? There's something so creepy about an animal that can fly choosing to stomp towards you instead. Now that I've put this with the silver bag and the black heels, I think I like it a lot more. A dress like this can be dressed up with a jacket. Big guy. Big guy. A jacket like this little pink one from Zara, which is insanely nice. I unboxed this in a video like two weeks ago and I love it. It's probably one of the nicest biker jackets I've ever had. It's a really nice kind of scuba stretchy material on the inside but then suede on the outside. The silver buckle details and the zips and everything look so nice with my little gifted silver bag. I actually think this is my favorite outfit. I, I think like for sure this is my favorite. I feel the nicest in this one. If I do go out for something Christmassy or something for New Year's, I think I'll choose this over the first one. Oh, I love this so much. I just, I love the chic black dress with the hint of pastel, keeping with my branding. <laughs> and my final look may actually be my favorite. This faux leather long sleeve dress is so cool. This is a style that I've seen a lot of people wearing online. I've seen people talking about it. My friend Lucy has talked about this in videos of hers in the past. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, okay. I love pairing the leather look dress with the leather look boots and also a little hint of pink on the boots to match the little tiny thrifted pink bag. I kept the choker. I was going to swap the choker out. I was going to swap the choker out, but I actually think that the choker really goes with the whole vibe. It feels kind of punk, kind of Y2K. Oh, yeah. This outfit probably suits my new hair the most, I would say. Oh, I feel so good in this. Now I really don't know which outfit I like the most. I thought the first one was the best. And then I thought that the black dress with the pink biker jacket was the best, but now, now I like this one the most. Uh, these boots are from La Moda. And platform boots with a thick heel are always perfect for me if I'm going out for a long night because my feet don't end up sore. As much as I have the desire to want to wear stiletto to parties and events. It's a stilette, hell no, as far as I'm concerned. But this, I actually feel like I could, I could wear this all night. I would be so happy. I think, I think this is my favorite. Archie, is this your favorite too? Bye. All right guys, that's it, that's everything. I'm so happy with all of these things from Zara. I think if you can find things secondhand from Zara, shop that option first because there's a lot of it floating around in online thrift stores. I don't know why, but so much of the Zara, oh bless you, so much of uh, the Zara stuff ends up donated. I have a feeling it's probably something to do with the sizing, I would say. So to try to reduce uh, the amount of Zara clothing that's ending up in landfill, check out your local thrift stores, flick through the racks, have a look for the Zara tags. If you've got online thrift stores available to you, search up Zara on those. And I think you'd be really, really happy with the things that you find. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah! Bye. Oh, very nice.